The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Okay, good evening, everybody. This is Mike from Where's Obama's Birth Certificate dot com. Mike from Where's Obama's Birth Certificate dot com. Exciting news. Yes, exciting news today. It was a long day. Today I met with Congressman Charlie Dent, Republican from Pennsylvania from the fifteenth Congressional District. Actually met face to face with him, had a very good meeting. Just got done updating my website, Where's Obama's Birth Certificate dot com. That's Where's Obama's Birth Certificate dot com. I just put the pictures up of the meeting. It was a good meeting. It was a great meeting. There were a lot of questions that were asked. I had Mike Zulu come on. Excuse me, <clears throat> Mike Zulo, come on and give a conference, a telephone conference, and an update. Um, and Congressman then actually asked Mike a couple of questions, and Mike answered them. And there's never enough time, and of course today there was never enough time. We left Congressman Dent with a sheriff's kit, and there's a picture on my website, where's Obama's birth certificate dot com, of me giving uh, me holding the sheriff's kit with Commander Charles Kirshner retired. He also attended the meeting. In attendance of the me at the meeting was myself, Mike, my wife, Ruth, Dale Lawden Slager, who's the one that scheduled the meeting. That is the congressman for Dale's district, and Commander Charles Kirshner retired. He's also uh, under Charlie Dent's jurisdiction, and he was attending as he. Commander Kirshner has been at this almost as long as we have, 2009 or no, 2008, 2009. I know my website went up August 2008, right around when Phil Berg filed his lawsuit. Well, anyway, to recap again, had a meeting today with Congressman Charlie Dent of Pennsylvania. It was a good meeting. Uh, we had a face-to-face -face privately in his office. In attendance was my wife, Ruth, Bill Warden Slager, Commander Charles Kirshner retired, and myself and one of Congressman, uh, one of Congressman's aides was in attendance um, on the uh, meeting too, taking notes um, and just listening in on the conversation. It was exciting. Um, to actually, have a face to face. He took the time out. Um, he he wasn't aware of it. He wasn't aware of Sheriff Joe Arpaio's investigation. When we uh, made introduction, introduced ourselves, sat down, got settled, I asked him, I said, Congressman Dent, have you heard of Sheriff Joe Arpaio? He said, oh, oh, yes, I have. I said, have you heard of the investigation into the birth certificate, the phony, fraudulent, fake birth certificate that's on the White House website? He said, no, I never heard that. I said, you never heard that? He looked at me puzzled. I said, well, not, you know why we're here. And from then, I was able to open up the sheriff's kit, show him, give him an introduction, opened up my laptop, and yes, today my laptop worked. <laughs> Thank goodness. I had trouble last time. I had to twist, turn it, and bang it a little bit, but I got it to work. But yes, my laptop worked. I guess it helps to have fresh charged batteries. That's another story. So anyway, I played, the, uh, I played one of the videos from the sheriff's kit. The, the news conference uh, from Sheriff Joe, um, it set things up uh, to show that uh, who we were, credentials. He was glued to the screen. He was glued to that screen. He watched the press secretary come out. He watched Sheriff Joe come out. And when Mike Zulu stepped out, Mike Zulu, I have to watch my pronunciation of Zulu. I've been getting emails that Zulu is a tribe in Africa, and I'm well aware of that. Mike Zulu came out. And at that time, he recognized Mike Zulo, and um, I stopped the video, and I told him why I stopped it. I said, we don't have to go any further right now. We can go on for another hour and 12 minutes on just the Sheriff Joe news conference. And then I continued my presentation with the affidavit, and then we got uh, Mike Zulu on board. 
and we had a conference call, and we went from there. And that's what happened. A lot of other things that I could mention, but that's the gist of it, and that's what happened today. Uh, I know Mr. Congressman Dent has a sheriff's kit. He uh, informed us that he was going to hand it over to his legal staff, have them take a look at it, and I will be getting back with him. I will be getting back in touch with Congressman Dent. We want an answer. We're just not going to leave you with the sheriff's kit with the information. We want an answer on what you're going to do with it, how you're proceeding, who you're talking to. We also mentioned to him the other people that were involved in this, Steve Stockman, Ted Yoho, uh, my congressman, Lou Barletta, uh, Rich Nugent uh, seems to be teetering with it. And there is a list of other congressmen that my followers have given the sheriff's kit to. Uh, I have that list. We shared it with the congressman. It's not published on my website right now. And this is, um, we're not publishing it right now at this time. Once again, this is Mike from Where's Obama's Birth Certificate.com. I had a meeting today with Congressman Charlie Dent, Republican from the 15th Congressional District in Pennsylvania. It was a great meeting. It was with uh, my wife, Ruth, Dale Warden Slager, Commander Charles Kirshner, retired, and we had it in his office, and it was a great time. It was a great meeting. Um, he wasn't aware of Sheriff Joe Arpaio investigation. We made him aware of it, obviously. We had a conference call with Mike Zulu, who gave some information. Uh, actually, Congressman then asked a lot more questions than I had really expected him to ask. Um, pretty pointed and technical and specific. And um, it was great having him on, uh, having him there in the office one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he took a lot of notes. Um, Kept getting the information. We were going over the sheriff's kit um, piece by piece. Um, every question he asked, I could answer by going to a specific place in the sheriff's kit. He was mostly interested um, in the um, selective service forward stamp. Once he saw that, I guess that's something that he's never been aware of. He might have heard rumors about the phony birth certificate on the White House and and, um, things like that. He um, he was really interested in that, and we went over that for a few minutes. For a few minutes, the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. 